let's talk about the nine prescription medications that have the ability to kill you. Now, of course, check with your doctor before taking any of the recommendations. I'm not telling you to come off these medications. I'm just increasing your awareness on the risks versus the benefits and the effectiveness versus some of these side effects. Now, the first one on the list is a very common drug called corticosteroids. So typically these steroids are the silent killers. Um, one of the most frequent uses is for inflammation, allergies, autoimmune diseases, asthma, psoriasis, et cetera, et cetera. And I've taken corticosteroids for many, many years uh, for my poison ivy, and it definitely had some serious side effects. But I want to differentiate uh, short-term use versus long-term chronic use. I'm going to be focusing on more of the chronic long-term use of these steroids and what they can do to your body. And I'm not actually talking about the steroids that you would use uh, if you're a bodybuilder, for example. These are different steroids. Some of the side effects includes a loss of appetite, uh, moon face, like your face becomes round, belly fat, buffalo hump. You have this big fat pad in your upper back, thin skin, um, increased risk of infection, um, mood changes, osteoporosis, suppression of your adrenal glands. And the worst side effect is the suppression of bone marrow. Now you have to realize that your red blood cells and your white blood cells and your platelets um, are made by your bone marrow. So when you suppress the bone marrow, um, it can lead to some pretty serious problems because eventually those cells are going to die and they can't be replaced. So you get a severe loss of white blood cells and you also get anemia, but you can lose your immune system. So a simple cold or you get the flu or even a simple sore throat can end up killing you. So people end up dying from very simple and mild infections. So just make sure if you're taking um, corticosteroids of a chronic nature, that you get with your doctor and really understand these uh, serious side effects. All right, number two, chemotherapy. And I'm mainly talking about a type of chemotherapy called systemic anti-cancer treatment, where you're taking a certain type of chemotherapy that affects the whole body. There was a study, which I'm gonna put a link down below, that is called the 30-day mortality after systemic anti-cancer treatment, which showed that this cancer treatment actually increased the risk of dying within 30 days. Now, the problem with chemotherapy is it kills more than the cancer. It kills off your own immune system. It kills healthy organ tissue. It doesn't differentiate. And the other problem is that it doesn't address the root cause of cancer, which is in the mitochondria. Instead, it targets the DNA of the cell. So a lot of the research right now on the, on the root cause of cancer is actually in the mitochondria, not the DNA. And ironically, chemotherapy increases your risk of getting cancer. So the side effect of chemotherapy, which is supposed to get rid of cancer, ends up causing cancer. Maybe a secondary cancer after you get rid of your primary cancer, maybe uh, a reactivation of the original cancer that you had that initially went in remission because chemotherapy basically suppresses your immune system, the key system that helps to fight cancer and keep you alive. And over $200 billion just in the United States is spent on these cancer drugs and procedures and radiation therapy. And unfortunately, 40% of Medicare is spent in the last 30 days of one's life when they're battling most of the time cancer. All right, next one is antidepressants. One in every eight people is on an antidepressant. Antidepressants can increase your risk of dying prematurely by 33%. With SSRIs, there's an increased risk of suicide. There's an increased risk of getting in a car accident by 40%. And if you add alcohol, it can increase up to 70%. And that is because of the side effect, drowsiness, sleepiness. And then you have something called serotonin syndrome, which occurs when you have too much serotonin. You see, what most people don't realize is serotonin is needed by many other organs, like your heart and the lungs and the kidneys and the liver. So as you take things to manipulate serotonin and decrease serotonin, you're affecting all these other organs as well, increasing your risk of dying from that particular organ failure. So there's a mortality risk of dying of heart attacks and strokes and other diseases. All right, the next one is a medication called bromocryptine. 
Now that's used to treat uh, Parkinson's as well as high prolactin in your blood. It can lead to something called lethal circulatory collapse where your blood flow basically stops as well as something called sudden sleep. And let's, just, let's say you're driving, for example, and then you fall asleep. I mean, that's a major side effect of this medication. All right, then we get to clarithromycin, which is an antibiotic for certain type of bacterial infections. Taking this medication can actually increase your risk of dying by 27%, mainly of a cardiovascular incident. And it can even occur after you stop taking medication. So I don't know about you, but I don't like that risk factor. Then we get to another medication called clozapine, and that's for schizophrenia. That has a really high risk of major side effects, including myocardial death and something called slow gut, which you can get severe constipation and even die. All right, number seven is Humira. Now, I've talked about this in other videos. It's the number one selling medication for inflammation and everything related to inflammation. And it's a type of medication called a biologic. It actually suppresses your immune system. And there's a black box warning on the uh, medication, which indicates a more severe side effect. And that side effect is risk of getting infections leading to sepsis, which is a systemic infection and even death. And one thing about this medication is that you don't want to take it if you have TB because it can be lethal just from that. All right, then, now we have colchicine. Now this medication is used to treat gout. And the FDA um, put a very high risk on this medication because it has significant toxicity, which can create death at small doses, like 35 milligrams. And lastly, we have digoxin, also known as lanoxin. And this medication is usually used for heart medication, for cardiovascular failure and atrial fibrillation. But the problem with this medication is it can increase your risk of dying by 20%. Uh, that's pretty high especially if you're combining it with quinidine. So I just wanted to bring this video up to increase your awareness that if you're on some of these medications, you might want to get with your doctor and really review it to see if it's the best option. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how to dramatically take your health to a whole new level, you might want to check that out. I put it up right here. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before